Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with me, which is the Snapdragon variant, and today we are going to install Android 7.1 Android Nougat to this device. So this model um, is the SMN910F, the international, mo international model of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, and this one runs Android 6.0.1. One, the um, official latest Android Touch with uh, version for that device, and yeah, today we are going to install Android 7.0 to this device. Before we start, let's talk about the things you need to install this ROM. So, first of all, you of course need the ROM. Um, you also need the G apps to get the Play Store, and you get the and you need the um, um, international model patcher. So, without this one, you won't get the SIM working. Um, I've downloaded all three files already and I will also provide the links for um, every f each file in the description of this video, so down below you can d just download them. As you can see at the top we have the OpenG apps for Android 7.1, here we have the um, fix for the international model and here is the ROM itself and yeah. So now we can start, so first of all you need to power off your device and boot into the teen TWRP recovery, so you can't install this ROM without the TWRP recovery and I'm not uh, going to show you how to install this recovery because there are enough videos on YouTube showing you how to install that. So in order to get into the recovery you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time, so let's do this. And you can see the phone is now booting into the um, recovery mode, here you can see the um, boot screen of Tiemann. So what you need to do first is to uh, go to the wipe option here, go to advanced wipe and wipe the um, system, wipe the data and the cage and um, the devlet here. So swipe to wipe then. So after that you need to go back, go to install here select your storage value of um, locate the uh, three files in my case it's in the micro SD card as you can see they are here and first of all you need to install the ROM which is um, this one here so let's do that and this could take about two maybe three minutes just need to wait So the uh, flashing process is now complete, it, it took about one minute, as you can see here there is some errors, but actually you don't need to care about these because there aren't actually errors. So after that um, you need to go back, go to the install option again, and then you need to install the um, 3 TRLTE XX fix um, to get the sim working. Um, or to get this ROM working on the international model, so let's flash that file also. After that you need to go back and flash the um, G apps for Android 7.1. So I've downloaded the um, Nano, because these are the um, smallest, um, this is the smallest G app package, which installs um, very fast, so again you need to wait. So as you can see the uh, flashing process of the GAPS is completed now and now you can do a wipe again if you want to, So, but you actually don't need to do that, but um, let's do it anyway. And after the, you have done the wipe you can just reboot to the system. All the ROM booted up now and you need to um, type in your um, PIN code, so let us let me do that. So as you can see this is Android um, 7.1 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, this is the um, 
um, setup um, guide here, the setup screen, so let's select English here. Um, so let me type in my um, Wi-Fi password, give me a second. Yep, so here we go. Um, it also um, it has the fingerprint scanner. Let's skip that now. Um, and you are ready to go. So this is Android 7.1 on Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, here you have the new notification panel. You can pull down twice here as you can see. Um, you can edit these um, buttons, toggles. You can go to um, um, how do you call it? to the uh, settings, and at the bottom you can see that this is Android 7.1 here. Um, let's type there, a press in there, and you can see it has this Android N logo with this cat over there. Um, the new uh, the new recent panel is also present. Um, as you can see, the SIM is working. Fingerprint scanner, I'm not quite sure if it's working, so let's check the camera. So the camera is also working. Um, let's try to uh, um, change to the front camera. As you can see, it's also working. Um, yeah, quite nice. Um, if you want to see a review video of this ROM, I will um, make this also. Just let me know that in the comments. If there are any requests about that, I will definitely make a review video of, the, review video of, the, um, of this ROM here. And uh, yeah, peace.